Kentuckiana's most trusted source for weather. Meteorologist Chuck Taylor, Ken Schultz, and Beth Andrews. The WHAS 11 Storm Team. Earlier today, a cold front pushed through the region, and now a huge mass of cold Arctic air is moving in behind that frontal system, and that cold Arctic air is really going to dominate the weather around here for the rest of the week, probably on into next week. And you can see the milder temperatures to our south and east, readings in the 30s, in fact, 49 right now at Memphis, but you go to the north and west, and you can see the effects of that Arctic air. It's only 18 at Indianapolis, 10 at South Bend, and you... Uh, really get into the Arctic air around Peoria, and north of there, readings are below normal. Well, that frontal system came through, and there is still a band of cloudiness associated with the front. The front itself has really slowed down quite a bit in the past few hours. The front uh, stretches just to our south. Eventually, as this huge Arctic uh, high builds southward, it will push the front to the Gulf of Mexico region, and that's where it will stall, and then low pressure will be moving along that later in the week, and will be bringing us some snow. But you want to talk about cold weather at Bismarck right now. It's 19 below zero at Great Falls, Montana. Their temperature is down to 28 below zero. Well, here in Louisville, we're considerably better than that. At 34, humidity 54 percent. We have a north wind at 7, and the barometer is going up. Our high today, a nice mild 51, but the low for the day is occurring right now, 34. We did see a few sprinkles as the cold front moves through. Now, during the day tomorrow, that front will continue to settle to the south. We'll see a little sun, but a lot of clatterness. And then it looks like uh, highs tomorrow will be uh, probably right around 34 degrees here. And as that colder air continues to sink in, temperatures uh, during the day will get lower and lower as the week wears on. So for tonight, partly cloudy, the overnight low near 24. Tomorrow, a little sun, but a lot of clouds and a high of 34. Tomorrow night, it will be mostly cloudy. The overnight low will be near 17. We could see a little bit of light snow or flurry activity on Wednesday with a high of 30, but then more important snow could be here for late Thursday into Friday. Now, we're not talking about a huge snowstorm, but uh, there is the possibility of some accumulation. And once that moves out over the weekend, we're talking about even colder weather. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Chuck.